Next we have up, I love this guy. Rick Hawes is someone that, that has been speaking at our conferences over the last year. I mean, we've been just so glued to the digital stage, um, Rick. And I haven't met you personally live. And I think that's the most fascinating part because I feel like I know you and I feel, I feel like I know more about technology because of everything that you've been sharing with the Buzz Conference. Thank Rick Haas is the president and co-founder of Sailfish. And today he's joining us with insight onto technology that is available to simplify digital pre-construction sales for builders, realtors, and brokers. Sailfish is a global real estate sales software solution provider improving the efficiencies for developers, builders, and agents by up to 75%. They're also the only real estate company in the world to be secured by Cyber Essentials Canada. Welcome, Rick. We're gonna, we're gonna talk a little bit about the importance of cyber security at the end, because this past year, boy, if we're not secure, we're gonna be in big trouble when this pandemic is, lift, is listed, lifted. So Rick, tell me, Tell me a little bit about Sailfish and about yourself and why did you create this company? What, what was the need for this company? Okay, definitely. I'm happy to do that. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thanks for having me again, Virginia. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm Rick. I'm the president and co-founder of Sailfish Software. Um, we are a prop tech company that works with builders and developers and sales companies in order to, to transact digitally the sale of pre-construction homes and condos. Um, Sailfish is one of five companies that make up the plus group. And the other ones are RN Design, which is a low rise architectural firm, SRN, which is a high rise and commercial architectural firm. And then there's Studio Uno and Studio Uno, Uno sorry, is a, an interior design company that focuses on condos and hotels and homes. And then Kool-Aid Studios, which is a marketing company for real estate projects, new, new launch projects. Um, it's, it's an important thing that we're all a company together because we all have um, interesting experiences that we contribute to one another and, and it, it really makes all the companies stronger. Um, I started with r and Design actually 26 years ago and I started in architecture. I actually have a degree in architecture. It's not in software development. It's kind of a, been an interesting career path for me. Um, but, but that's really where everything started with Sailfish. And I want to just talk a little bit about that just to give it some context. Um, with our in design, uh, we started programming in AutoCAD. We started to try and eliminate manual processes and, in order, and, and automate and streamline. And so we created an application that would automatically dimension floor plans as we drew elements. And it saved an enormous amount of time in terms of work, checking, and all these different kinds of things. And it taught us a really important lesson. It taught us that you really should be trying to automate and use computers to solve problems as much as possible, as opposed to just trying to push through it. From there, we went into something called a live sighting analysis, and it was our first kind of commercial, commercially viable uh, product. And what it is, it was, is um, when, it's, when a sales company wants to sell new construction, the architectural company, like an R and Design, would give them a sighting analysis, which would tell them what houses would fit on what lots. And it would only tell them initially, did it fit within the envelope on the lot? And as soon as you sold a house, other different factors would come in like architectural control that would say, you can't sell the same house two doors down or across the street and you can't have the same color packages on it. And so if you can imagine it in a traditional sales experience, when you have to try and you sell one house and you have to try and determine what's available on the next lots, that process started to take a significant amount of time and it also caused a significant amount of, of errors. So that little application that we created was able to take a sales process, a decision process based on only availability from upwards five to 10 minutes with one person after another down to an instantaneous decision. And that taught us a lot of things too. And we realized there was something very significant about that. And we then took that concept and we put it into an application that we could put in salespeople's hands. And in doing that, we can then simultaneously sell an endless number of uh, lots, models, apartments, seemingly simultaneously. I mean, for sure, it's still a serial process, but because we were able to automate it, 
and put it in so many hands, it became completely a parallel, a parallel um, process. And it completely changed um, the industry. And, and we've been doing this for 16 years. So, I mean, this might not sound innovative now, but when we started it, it was really nothing like it out there. So this is kind of where we started. And now we've really moved on to the transactional phase of, of, of um, the, the process. We're really all about trying to completely streamline, automate, remove layers um, from that transactional process. And I'm definitely gonna talk a little bit more about that um, a little bit later. Okay, cool. How would you define digital real estate sales? Um, so, so before, because I find that we've been doing that over the last 390 days. Oh, for sure. For sure. And that's where the big shift happened. Like I'm a pretty literal person. And so our solution for digital real estate sales is literal. Um, but I, I found the same thing when we were, when we were dealing with COVID, there'd be people out there saying they were selling digitally and we're like, wow, that's not digital. Mm -hmm. Um, they would be, you know, a, talking to people on zoom and they would call that a digital sale. Um, there was all kinds of different examples of that. And so in, in terms of that, I think you have to define digital real estate sales as the use of any kind of technology, essentially in a part of the sales process. Um, it's gotta be like that to be the broadest kind of definition. It's not our definition, but that's what it is. Um, and I think that, 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 that process also in terms of the amount of stuff that's out there and the stuff, the type of things that got implemented over that time, it causes a lot of um, confusion for people. And I think it's hard for people to start with prop tech or property technology because there's just such a vast amount of stuff out there. Um, but there's certainly ways that you can mitigate that. You can bring in thought experts to help you with your decision-making. Um, but I would say if you're going to implement technology, if you could solve your biggest problem, um, you would probably change your business. And I think it's a good approach to take. But the yeah. way that we define um, digital, digital sales is the application of technology to remove friction. And in our case, we're removing friction in the sales process. And that's really, again, where, where our focus absolutely is. Do you find that the consumer has more technology than the realtors or better technology than the realtors? Um, in, in our case, when we're talking about um, kind like of- Say for home searches, where like right now, for example, if you had to search for a home, where would you go? Oh, I'd go online, realtor.ca. There's, there's all kinds of different, okay. different things. That's out there. good to know. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first place you would search, but if you had to buy pre-construction. Yeah. Pre-construction. I mean, they're using the technology now, like sales companies, builders, developers are using technology, our technology to engage with people. Um, so they're not really looking, they're being sold. They're not really buying. And I, I just think there's okay. a big distinction there too, about the difference between selling online and buying online, but that's a mm. whole other conversation for sure. Right, right. Why is it why is it an important tool to simplify the selling process and provide e efficiency for agent and developers? Um, I mean, definitely the most fundamental thing is it's about time. Uh, you can't buy time. You can't make time. All you can do is save time. And so in, in some of the examples that I just gave you, like when you're talking about availability and being able to get through that process and determine what can be sold almost instantaneously. It's a great buying experience. Um, when we talk about documentation, it's significant. Like the amount of time that we can save doing documentation from just generating an agreement, we typically would take up to 45 minutes to do an agreement. When you were having to assemble things manually, um, go into files, uh, swap out schedules, all these different kinds of things, we can do it in four minutes because it's all completely digital. And that's the process. Um, being able to circulate stuff around digitally uh, makes an enormous difference. You're not talking about couriers. You're not talking about printing. You're not talking, if the signing officer isn't in, on site, he instantly or she instantly gets notified that they can sign and they sign and the process is just done. There's, there's, there's no delay. Um, the second thing really is, is accuracy. When you're talking about the ability to scan a driver's license or an ID or anything and extract information off of that in order to populate agreements. There's enormous accuracy there. When you have formatted documentation in a way that it can't be, it can't be messed with, you get a huge amount of consistency. And fundamentally, the biggest thing, the most, the most important thing is simplicity. Um, it's one of the pillars of our company. It's what we strive for. Um, automating the processes, some of the things that I explained a little bit earlier, removing those layers, 
um, just makes it simpler. It, 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 there's things that people don't have to do anymore. They shouldn't do them anymore. And if they're not, it's just, it just makes the process so much easier for everybody. Right, right. Has Sailfish seen an increase in remote sailing? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so this is the example I was kind of talking about in terms of um, realtors reaching out or salespeople reaching out to, to buyers at home. Uh, we had a really interesting case study actually with uh, one of our partners, Kool-Aid, who I mentioned earlier. They created an online digital brochure mm. and it was, it was a phenomenal uh, feat because it took all the community stuff and it was digital. They had a, they had a menus map, which was completely interactive, which is, which is the strength of um, online uh, product. Um, we were able to populate that with uh, real-time pricing and data. And there was other cool things too, like it, we could put, they, they put in um, walkthroughs and these kinds of stuff and all that stuff lived in this brochure. And it was a really rich um, purchasing experience. And we, it went out to the buyers. The buyers utilized that for information. The salespeople use it as a tool to transition back into Sailfish in order to sell all the product. And they sold, I think, all 150 really quickly, 61 in one day. Wow. Uh, and that's something that, you know, you would need to, you need to automate in order to be able to do something like that for sure. Right, so right. Well, I look at the resale um, industry and, you know, open houses have been taken away from us. The You were just talking about a digital brochure. I mean, nobody's printing brochures anymore, right? Or flyers, everything's being done digitally. So yep. just on the resale side, what are some tips that you think could help realtors create um, a more effective, efficient digital experience? Um, I, I think definitely uh, video is, is a really important thing, 100%. Um, I've seen some really great resale systems where the whole process is automated. The booking system is automated for um, visiting appointments. The, the homeowner gets to choose whether they accept it or not. They can suggest a new time. Once it's done, the updates are in there. Um, all that information is all, always available. And I think that's a great experience too. That's mm, automation. There's a really big word right there. We haven't even, we haven't even touched on automation, but you're so, so right. Let's talk about cybersecurity um, right now. And, um, you know, you spoke about the effects of working remotely and digitally from home. Um, everything we do now is from our mobile device or from our computer screen especially while we're in lockdown. Everything we do, curbside pickup, we order, um, you know, grocery shopping or picking up, ordering and picking up our prescriptions. Everything is being done online. So how, how can you, not how can you, but what advice would you offer realtors uh, when it comes to being safe and secure while working digitally or personally online? Yeah, I mean, the threats are um, equally the same. Um, I, I think, I think, I think you, you need to educate yourself um, as to what the threats are. Um, you know, there's, there's certain things that I know that I wish I didn't know now when I, because of the cybersecurity certification that we've gone through. But I mean, simple things like not connecting to open Wi-Fi networks, um, email is a huge thing. Uh, it's, it's probably one of the biggest weaknesses. It's pretty easy to hack email accounts. Um, you should always, you should always keep, um, passwords on all, all your devices and everything like that. But you know, those, those are kind of, kind of really, really basic things. But the, the, the biggest problem, if you're talking about an office is, is people, um, mm -hmm. they're, they're the biggest weakness in any cybersecurity, uh, strategy. Uh, but, but I think it, 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 you need to do some research. There's some, there's some good resources out there. If anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them and kind of point them in the right direction because uh, it's something that's it's, it's going to come to the forefront. Um, you hear a lot more about it all the time, ransomware and all these different kinds of things, and it's, and it's, 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 it's going to proliferate for sure. And then when we talk about digital remote selling, is cybersecurity a concern? And if it is, because you're saying that people are buying pre-construction online. So how is Sailfish addressing this? Yeah, so when you start talking about sales data, you're talking about sensitive data. You're talking about people's names and addresses and, and, and driver's license numbers and these kinds of things. So that stuff needs to be, needs to be kept secure. So um, 
what we do about it, I mean, we have all the technical controls in place, uh, all this, all the, you know, encryptions, both in it at, for data at rest and uh, in transit. Uh, there's all that kind of stuff. Our company has all the policies and procedures in place to ensure that um, certain things are, are taken care of, like passwords are changed, what the password complexity is. There's, there's, there's an awful lot of things there. Uh, and again, the biggest thing, the biggest thing really is people. So our staff goes through uh, regular cybersecurity training and um, we're doing our part. The, the thing is that our customers um, aren't really aware. Luckily, we're, we're controlling a lot of that on our side, but they're, they're, they're still potentially at risk too because right. they have data and everything in their servers and, and, and online. And every computer is connected online now, obviously, right? And that's, that's, where, that's where the challenges are. Do you think that we'll ever get back to live pre-construction events or is, has, is Sailfish basically taking over that, that way of selling? Um, I, I think um, right now, currently, with all the restrictions and everything, obviously there's limitations, but 75% of people are still choosing to do it digitally, even if they have the choice to come in. I think once things open up, we're gonna go back to you know, a lot more live events for sure. Uh, but the great thing that happened here is that um, people became accustomed and familiar and, and comfortable with using technology, both to sell, you know, to sell online and for the customer to buy online. And it's a tool that's going to be in their toolbox going forward. And I think it'll always serve a purpose now. And there will be people who will want to do it that way. And I think, I think that's a great thing. Excellent. Very good. Is there anything else that you wanted to add um, to the Sailfish experience? I know I, I sent an email to um, our co-hosts, Nick Profeta and uh, Tony Joe. Um, and, you know, when we do get the recording of this video, we're going to, you know, create a little uh, component for Sailfish and send it over to a few of the developers and the builders out in Western Canada. Because oh, I know you're great. expanding out that way. Oh, that's great. Um, but what else do you want us to learn about Sailfish that can help our business or can help Sailfish? Um. I, I think I think um, in terms of what we do, like I say, we've been around a long time. We have an awful lot of stuff that we've built over time. Um, so so it, I, I mean, I, I could I could probably go anywhere with it. But um, if, if anybody has any questions, be happy to answer answer them. Um, digital workflow is going to be a huge thing. It just streamlines everything. Um, digital documents are huge. I mean, this this is absolutely where everything's going. Transparency is important. Yeah. And the other thing that came up earlier, which I think is important, is integrations are important. Um, we okay. integrate yeah. with CRM companies, marketing companies, interactive companies, um, accounting companies, you know, front and back so that data is always transferred seamlessly because everybody has their own providers and they're comfortable with those, those people and everything. So that, that's an important feature. And I think anything to do with prop tech, and it was mentioned earlier in an, in an earlier session that that's going to be an important advancement for the seamlessness of digital prop tech real estate. Yeah, you, you and Terry Conrad should, should connect. She's really big into prop tech and technology. She's uh, led the session with Reach uh, Canada. Yeah, that, that was the one I was referring to. That was a great session. Yeah, really yeah, great. you should. I'll, I'll connect you guys in an email for sure. Perfect. Everyone, Rick Haas, the co founder of Sailfish. Uh, it's just something that we really have to you know, keep in the back of our minds. We are moving into a more digital experience, whether it's with pre-construction sales or residential sales. And the fact that cybersecurity is, uh, it's just such an important topic. We really do need to learn how to protect ourselves more. I know we only had 20 minutes, but we look forward to having you, Rick, at a live conference where we can expand on this uh, discussion with a few others as well. So thanks so much for being here today. Great. Great. Thank you, Virginia. Appreciate it. Thank you. Great My job. pleasure.